So, I have no idea what I'm going to vlog about, but whatever. Hey YouTube, hey. Um, I don't really know what to vlog about. Not First a lot's happened in my life, my but, you know, my life can and take on hipster vlogger on YouTube. Love. Like sensation friend you has like uploaded like three so I kind of need to get back in the game um, breath is held by we had be free that was really, really cool there were like 400 women who came and like you could just tell God was in the room so that was pretty cool um, next week we're going to Kichoba so we're going up to Queensland this year and so that's pretty exciting um, It'll just realistically be a bunch of kids team members, so a bunch of adults who just love to have fun going up to the Gold Coast and just really getting refilled and restored before jumping into the next season of Church Life, which is like state conference, Christmas, all that busy season. So that's pretty fun. Um, my birthday's in the midst of it. Not in the midst of Kitshaver, but that's like the week after. So that's fun. Um, I've got a bunch of assignments that I've got to do that I should be doing but just haven't. And yeah, I guess there's been one thing that's been like playing on my mind and it's from um, this movie called like Letters, of Letters to Juliet and it's pretty much this whole thought of what if. Um, and it pretty much starts out, it's like it's told by what if, or like what and if are two separate words. Um, and each in their own is okay, but once you put them together, it becomes this big, large question of what if? What if I did catch that flight? What if I didn't catch that flight? What if I did travel? What if I didn't travel? What would my world look like? What if? Um, and I guess it's just kind of one of those things where it's like the question of if you knew you couldn't fail, what would you do? And it's just one of those things where it's like, what's the reason that's holding you back? And why is it holding you back? When at the end of the day you've got this goal, so why aren't you trying to achieve this goal instead of looking over here being like, oh, I don't know. Um, and yeah, I guess like, like for instance with Kid Shaper this week, normally like I'll go and have an awesome time, but just in exploring and adventuring, just because you get so tired, I'm just like, no, I can't be bothered. Um, but this year I'm just kind of like, hey, okay, well, what if? What if I don't go? It's going to be the same as every other year. We're in Queensland this year. I may as well just get up and explore. And so that's what I'm kind of at and that's where I'm excited for. I don't know, like, I guess the reason I don't explore is just because I'm kind of scared. I don't know. It's just kind of like this whole thing of, yeah, but it's not safe. I don't know it's stupid, but it just kind of... I don't know, it just works in me. I'm like, what if something happens? What if? Um, and yeah, whereas this year I'm just like, you know what, at the end of the day, who cares? Who cares? It's Queensland, it'll be fun. Um, and yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'll do a vlog about that when I get back. Um, yeah. I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, I was meant to read a video. It wasn't a poem, wasn't I? Whoops. Let me go and find one right now. So, okay, so I found a poem. Um, it's based on trains and all that kind of stuff. And it reminds me of my dad because my dad loves trains. And so it looks like Peter wrote it about his dad. Um, the Irish accent, I don't know how that's going to go because I feel like I'm like fading in and out of it. Um, but anyway, let me practice a little bit just because. Be bold and be inspired. Be happy and be creative. Be passionate, be awesome and delightful. Laugh out loud, laugh out loud and always be yourself. I don't know. I just don't know. Would you like a gigabyte? See, I don't know how I'm going to go actually reading, because once I'm reading, I like lose my flow, my memento, and my mojo, you know what I'm saying? Um, eh, it's just so hard. But anyway, here we go. Alright, so it's about the train. It's called The Train Traveller. My father, my father spent nearly 30 years travelling to and from work daily. 
On the trains, rarely missing, the scheduled Red Rattler. From Regent's Park Station to the suburb where he, where he was currently working. He taught me how to recognise the signs of their arrival before they came into sight. How signals would drop at the end of the platform or birds would fly up from where they were feeding. The old trains were replaced by new models long before he died. Signals changed, modernised and railway embarkments, cleared of undergrowth, burnt off. Birds no longer fed opposite the platform. Wherever he might be travelling still, I hope my father is well, enjoying the view that he rightly earned and is sitting comfortably at a train window while I stand alone on the platform at Regent's Park and I wish that I could follow. Okay, so at the end of it, I feel like I lost my accent. I feel like I'm pretty better in, like, English. Um, my father spent nearly 30 years travelling to and from work daily, on the trains, rarely missing the scheduled Red Rattler, from Regent's Park Station to the suburb where he was currently working. He taught me how to recognise the signs of their travels before they came into sight, how signals would drop at the end of the platform, or birds would fly up from where they were feeding. The old trains were replaced by new models long before he died. Signals changed, modernised, and ra railway embarkments cleared of undergrowth, burnt off. Birds no longer fed opposite the platform. Wherever he might be travelling still, I hope my father is doing well, uh, enjoying the view that he rightly earned, and is sitting comfortably at a train window while I stand alone on the platform at Regent's Park and wish I could follow. So it's kind of a somber poem, like it actually is a really sad poem. Like when I hear it, it just makes me think of like, okay, one day my dad's gonna go. And like, yeah, the memories I'm gonna have of him are probably gonna relate to trains. Um, just a little bit of a sad spin on work on things in this. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, we'll see how we go with this vlog. But anyway, okay, my next challenge for you is to, Oh, I don't know. What can I challenge you to do? Um, see, this is the issue with having a proto hipster friend, because like you're like, I don't know what's something that you that's like not mainstream. Um, okay, your next challenge is you have to read your favorite um, passage from the Harry Potter series. It doesn't matter like where it is, how long it is. Like, okay, it has to be more than like a two word sentence. But yeah, you have to read your favourite passage from Harry Potter. And yeah, see you. Bye.